to my dear Providence family. It's Father Merck coming to you from the chapel. I came over to the school today, which is dark and deserted, so I'm keeping my social distance in order to give this message. I'm also wearing my Mr. Rogers sweater. Here's why. Mr. Rogers used to tell the story when he was a young boy and he saw scary things on the news. His mom would say, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are willing to help. Now, Providence family, I can find no better advice except to pray than to look for the helpers in any scary situation. We're in a scary situation. Who are the helpers today? Well, first and foremost, I think of the healthcare workers who tirelessly and at great risk to themselves put their lives on the line to ease the suffering of the sick and to prevent us from getting sick. They're helpers. How about our families who work and sacrifice in order to give us, to provide for us the best? They're helpers. There are teachers, our teachers, who work very hard to plan lessons, to make this learning as normal as possible, even from a remote location, to keep you connected and also to help you improve your mind and your heart. They're helpers. There are many more, too many to name here but I thank all those who are helping. What about us? Can we be helpers? We have the opportunity to respond in very simple ways. Students just participating in online classes keeps the connection between you and the Providence family. It improves your skills. It alleviates the concerns of your parents. And it's the right thing to do. We do the right thing because it's the right thing to do. How about brightening the days of those around you, pitching in to do chores, spending time with your brother or sister, showing appreciation to your parents? Mother Teresa said, spread love everywhere. Let no one come to you without leaving happy. That's a way to be a helper. Parents, we are bringing our best to keep your students engaged. Be involved in their learning. Ask about their day. Have a conversation around the supper table. Be the one who calls your family together to pray. We can do these things. We can do these simple things because they have an impact. So to add to Mr. Rogers' exquisite insight, in scary times, look for the helpers. And then go be a helper. The Augustinians here at Providence are celebrating a daily Mass for the intentions of the world and for the intentions of the Providence family. We mention the Providence family at every Mass. We pray for you. This season of Lent helps us to focus on sacrifice, on helping. God, make us helpers. My love and prayers, Father Merck.